Dalton Varsho has been a pretty good ball player this year. Definitely not as good offensively than we would have probably hoped, but I think overall on the base running side of things and defensively, he has obviously been a huge plus compared to guys like Lourdes Guriel and Teo Hernandez. He's definitely been an upgrade on the defensive and base running side of things over those guys, but offensively has been a, a pretty major drop off, right? So that is the kind of give and take obviously we did and we did want to upgrade on the base running and defensive side of things especially in the outfield we know that for a fact that's what you know obviously Ross Atkins talked about a lot so that was good that we obviously you know worked on that stuff getting Kiermaier and Varsha which is you know great obviously and then moving George Springer to the you know corner outfield permanently pretty much so that is good and obviously the outfield defensively is absolutely amazing the base running has gotten better but the issue is the offense has definitely taken a bit of a step back if you compare the numbers, you know, this year, uh, 219 average, 286 on base, 377 slugging for a 663 OPS. Last year had a 235 average, a 302 on base, a 443 slugging, and a 745 OPS. And in only three less games so far this year, has 10 less homers. This year has 17 homers compared to last year where he had 27. And on Emily Savant, his base run value is in the 95th percentile and his fielding run value, so defensive side of things, is in the 96th percentile. So in both those categories, he is obviously elite. He has come as advertised. We expected him to be an elite base runner and fielder, and that is exactly what he's been. Outs above average wise, he's done pretty good this year overall between all fielding positions he's in the 24th spot kind of tied with a you know decent amount of guys here um, really tied for the 19th spot with 10 outs above average with guys like William Adamez, Harrison Bader, uh, Francesco Lindor, Jose Siri, Fernando Tatis Jr. So among some very good players and obviously Kevin Kiermaier's in 12th place uh, with 12 outs above average so right up there uh, tied with guys for um, you know 11th place with guys like uh, Wander Franco, Marcus Semien, Bollywood Jr. So among some very good competition for both these guys, they are elite ball players, both top 25 fielders in all of baseball, which is obviously fantastic. And that is why we have such a good defensive outfield. So, you know, those are obviously very good things to look at. But in overall, he has been pretty solid this year. F war wise, hasn't been as high as you probably would have liked. He has a 1.7 F war, which ranks him number 19 among all left fielders, which obviously isn't great being, you know, 19th place in F war wise among all left fielders, which isn't the best, but it's still not terrible when you consider how good defensively he is. A guy like Whit Merrifield, they have him on the left field side of things, obviously has kind of been moved around quite a bit, but he's still on this list here on fan graphs. And he's a two F war, so 0.3 more than Dalton Varsho, obviously defensively. Varsho has been way better, but offensively Whit has been way better. So, that's the give and take there. Obviously, you would have liked to see uh, Dalton Marshall be a bit better offensively. You know, a WRC plus of 83 is not the best. But this year overall, he's still been a very important part of this team and definitely a very key part of this outfield and especially defensive side of things. He has saved this team a lot. Offensively, yes, it's been a drop off from guys like Guriel and Teo, but still... He brings a lot to this team, some needed offense, some good base running, which we definitely needed to upgrade in both those categories. So that is a positive, but the offense has been disappointing. Now, obviously, he can have a much better year offensively next year. I'm sure he won't do probably as bad this year, next year. But if we don't have Kiermaier next year, which there's a decent chance that we won't, you're going to see Varsho's value jump up a decent amount more, I would say, just because you know obviously every position fielding wise is important to have good defenders but especially center field having a guy like Varsho there who's obviously you know we can only hope will be as good as Kiermaier is but I think he definitely can be that kind of a level of guy especially what Kiermaier's done this year but I think the overall value of Varsho will definitely jump up because having an elite center fielder is definitely more valuable than having an elite defensive you know, left fielder, for example, right? So the value, I think, on Varsho is going to go up a bit more next year when he's more than likely playing, you know, full-time in center field. This year, he's still extremely valuable. But once he's in center field, you're going to see him, you know, do a lot more for this team, I think, value-wise, and definitely just be a, even more of a contributor defensively than he was this year. Obviously, you have a lot more, you know, stuff to do in center field than left field. So it should be good for him there. He'll get more value. Hopefully, the back can come around and be better. Um, but, but overall, I think he's going to be a very important part of this team moving forward. Would I do that, you know, Guriel and Moreno trade? I have made videos on that in the past when it happened. I've never been a huge fan of the deal. I understand why it happened and why we made that move, but I wasn't so happy on giving up so much value for a guy like Varsho, but still 
going to be a very key part of this team moving forward and right now for hopefully a potentially deep long playoff run and we'll have some videos in the future talking about and breaking down the Guriel and Moreno deal for Varsho definitely because I've never been the biggest fan of the deal but I understand why it happened and I definitely think that we still got a good ball player out of the deal that's for sure but anyways guys thanks for watching hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please smash the like button and definitely comment down below your guys thoughts on Dalton Varsha this year are you happy with his offense personally I'm happy with the offense but defensive side of things and base running he has been absolutely elite thanks for watching and see ya